Hello Vintage Computer Friends. It's Labor Day 2023 here in California in the US and I had a little bit of time on my hand to tinker with my Raspberry Pi Pico and you see my first uh, Pico project running here. It's an SRAM uh, or let's say RAM emulator for this educational computer system on the bench here, the Bosch Microtronic computer system from 1981 from uh, West Germany, right? It's a 4-bit uh, computer system. And uh, this was inspired by all these projects on GitHub, which use a Pico for emulating ROM for vintage computers, right? And I thought, okay, uh, ROM is nice, but what I really need for this computer is uh, SRAM, right? And usually it has this 2114 um, SRAM, a CMOS ROM, uh, RAM, sorry. And um, so it's uh, 1K, 1024 4-bit words, right? So what you see here is I've replaced the SRAM uh, with the Pico. So here we have the 10 address lines connected right from 0 to 1023. And then we have the four data lines which are um, input and output right and a write enable line here. So um, depending on whether the Microtronic wants to read or write to the SRAM this line goes um, high or low right. And I also hooked up the uh, LED, the onboard LED, in such a way that when a write request comes, it blinks, right? So here you see now there's running a program, right? A simple counter here. Uh, it's counting in, in six registers and displaying them on the display. And you can see the different addresses here, the blinking lights, right? By the way, that's a very nice uh, free Nova dev board I'm using here that already has the level converters. Uh, required for interfacing the Pico to TDL levels, right, on board. So you don't need to mess with these uh, um, voltage level converters, which I started with and which all turned out to be crap, basically. So um, they are all for the bin. So, okay, they're only $12 for five, but still that should not be, um, it shouldn't be so bad. So and this dev board gave me no um, troubles whatsoever. Everything worked out of the box and it has the level converters on board. And then of course you have the four data lines here and uh, you see that currently they are serving uh, the program basically from the Pico, right? Uh, so that the program can run. So basically there's just one big busy loop and a big array, a 1K um, kilobyte array, right? Uh, 1024 addresses of uh, 8 bits, right? Even though we are only using 4 bits of this, but whatever. And um, yeah, you can see that, you know, we can just works like ordinary SRAM here for the Microtronics, so we can step through the program. So F60 is the opcode, it's a 12-bit instruction word on the Microtronic. That means display six registers starting uh, on the display starting at register zero. Then we are adding uh, one to register zero, and then we are copying this register value zero with a counter value to the register one, two, three, four, and five. So now we have six uh, identity, identical four bit values in these registers, and then there's um, an output. Um, digital output to these output ports right on the Microtronic using uh, this instruction here and then there's simply a go to a loop right so if I run this you can see that the blinking lights are here right from the digital output port right for a bit and uh, we see the counter yeah so um, let me also show you demonstrate to you that I can actually write so first thing we are going to do is we are erasing the memory. There's a ROM program uh, that does that. Hoyt uh, program 5. And if I execute this now, you can see that the right um, enable LED is flashing, right? Because now we just um, uh, cleared the memory with zeros. And if we step through it, we can indeed see everything is zero now, right? There's also another program in ROM, which we can load into RAM. And that is the NIM game. So if we push Hoyt program 7. We have now loaded the NIM game into the um, Pico, right? And from there we can execute it and play it. So there are 15 matches on the table. I don't know if you know that game, but anyhow. And then you are allowed to take up to three. And now I make the first move. I take two. And now the computer is syncing, right? 
again nice blinking lights here from this um, free Nov, Novi, Nov, no idea how to pronounce this um, uh, breakout dev board and so the computer took one so we are now at 12 I take one and I forgot how to win there is a you know winning strategy so I take three the computer takes one and now um, I take one and yeah so the computer takes three and uh, I'm left with um, I have to take the last one and I lose right so that's how that goes so yeah all right that's that's about it and um, yeah I'm probably going to write a little bit about this and upload a, um, upload the source code on github and make a hackaday page as usual and so on all right guys that's it for now thanks for watching bye